Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I need your help. Help me decide between the Fendi Baguette or the Fendi Peekaboo. Now, a lot of you guys have been following me for a while. You know this has been two styles that have been on my radar and wish list. Seems like forever. Now is a time when I actually do want to purchase one of these bags. I'm not going to purchase both of them since they are expensive bags, but I would like your help between the two styles. I did make some stories on Instagram just asking you guys your thoughts on these styles. Both bags I did try on in the store, so I'm going to go through the styles that have been catching my eye. Let's start talking about the Fendi Baguette. So Fendi Baguettes are such a fun bag. I love how they come up with different designs for the handbag. The canvas versions do catch my eye. I will be honest, I do like these bags to have more of a beige background. At least that's one of the main colors for this handbags. I find the canvas versions are interesting. I know this multicolor one is a pretty hot bag and it's pretty much out right now. They also have this other canvas version that I did try on in store. When I look at these bags and I tried the leather version, I will say that this lambskin, I think it's the Napa leather for Fendi, that's one of the softest leathers I've come across. I do love the understated Fs on this leather. And of course, I am obsessed with having the top handle and the crossbody strap. I think this brown color might be the best for my collection. I'm naturally drawn to these type of shades. This is the honey brown color. I think this brown color is more of an all year color from what my essay was telling me. Now, do you guys like more of the canvas versions versus the leather baguette, that's one. But how do we feel about baguettes in general? The other one, the big style, of course, is the iconic mini peekaboo. As you know, I used to have a peekaboo in my collection and I've always loved that bag. So it's only a matter of time if I do bring it back to my collection, finding that right peekaboo. Well, there's two that are catching my eye that I could find on the site and in the store. The first one is, it's a little bit of an interesting bag and it's this two-tone peekaboo. You can see how it's got more of that sandy beige color on one side and then on the other side, it's more of this pop of purple, if you will. I don't have a handbag like that at all in my collection. But it's kind of fun and again i think fendi is more of a fun brand and in some ways it lets me get in that fun pop of color i do talk about trying to add some color into my collection whether that's a fun pop of color uh, more of an accent color softer pastels but certainly i think this could be a fun way to do that into my collection I think the biggest thing with this handbag is that it is two-tone. Now the strap isn't as thick as the other handbag I'm about to show you. And also the inside, you do have that plexiglass type of divider. I don't see more of the F print on the inside, but this is a very special bag and I do like how it's more of an interesting concept. Another point about the two-tone this is more of a seasonal bag with that two-tone. I don't think it'll be around for very long. So if that is the bag style that I choose to go with, I pretty much need to do that right away. Now the other mini peekaboo is an all beige peekaboo. And it does have a thicker strap with metal feet. I do like this one. Again, comes in that signature beige color. Now this bag looks like it has a little bit more structure, I think just based on how the construction of the bag with the seams. Both bags are made out of calf skin, so 
I think it's a little bit more durable than lambskin. Now, when I look at the peekaboo, I do think it's a little bit more dressier when I compare it to the Fendi baguette. Fendi baguette really looks more casual to me. I think if you take out the crossbody strap of the baguette, it can lend itself a little bit more dressier if you want to take that bag from day into night. In terms of overall handbag style, I tend to lean more toward classic silhouettes and I do prefer a little bit more structure to my handbags. Now I do have the Chanel 19 and a YSL puffer, which I think make great casual bags. And I love a good crossbody with a top handle. So I think going into this year and with Fendi, I've said this before, I think Fendi is a great fun brand and I look to that brand to give my collection a little bit more fun, a little bit more personality. So that's what I was hoping to achieve. But overall, I would love any of these bags. I would love to get your feedback. Let me know Fendi Baguette or Fendi Peekaboo. And then based on those, which side you're on, which style of these bags. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this chatty video. Let me know in the comments below and I will talk to you in my next video. Take care.